Hello, and welcome to a brand new Synth Sunset walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. Today we're looking at Zebra, and this sunset is called Refract, and it's the final The Unfinished sunset of the year. Well, that makes sense. It is December after all. Uh, so this sunset is basically born out of having a bunch of patches that I really liked, but that hadn't fit into anything that I was either already releasing or planning to release in the future that didn't quite work their way into any other sound sets. And so I had this collection of about, I don't know, about 50, 60 patches, and I liked them, and I wanted to try and work out what to do with them, so I thought, well, why not just expand them into their own sound set? And that is what I've done. So Refract is, um, it's very much about supportive sounds for cinematic action and underscore. Um, so it's not it's not going to be the big sounds at the forefront. It's more the stuff in the background, lots of sequence stuff. So we've got bass lines, drum loops, sequences. Uh, there's lots of low end. So we have um, basses, um, big drum hits, um, sound effects, some sort of bassy soundscapes, and there's atmosphere as well. So we've got some nice gritty pads and some fun interesting atonal textures and stuff going on and that pretty much is what it's <laughs> this that's pretty much what it's about um so we'll we'll hop into it but the key the key word is gritty gritty it's very gritty it's very gritty that's only going to make any sense for british people of my own age right 146 um so let's kick off with the arp section shall we Nice bit of woody, percussive vibes. You're using those lovely comb filters that uh, we have in Zebra. So there is a dark edge, definitely a dark edge to this sound set. Uh, it doesn't go as far as Tunguska, which is just lots of distortion and noise, but there's there's plenty of um, grit in here. Like that. There's some really sort of hammering bass lines. So really good dynamic action stuff. I tried to make sure there's quite a lot of movement in there as well, so the sounds aren't particularly static. There's fun things happening with the filtering here and there and what have you. some not a tonal stuff but I think we do, we do some fun things with the pitch on some of the patches as well I know we is it's just me and that's a good example of 
the sort of patch that you use in the background. It sounds a bit odd, a bit interesting. Don't have it too high in the mix. It just adds that little bit of something. Let's have a look at the uh, the performance patches as uh, pads as well. So nice bit of filtering, and then nice and steady there, and then pushing the modulation detune there. So lots of fun things to be played with there. Should we move on to basses? Go on then. It's a nice low end here, but not, not too many basses. to that one. And something that we've got on this sound set that I don't often do, uh, we've got a few big drum impacts and stuff, so um, let's take a listen to them, shall we? That's that one. <laughs> So obviously these are fairly low cinematic hits. We're not going for anything um, else really here. And then something new, got a couple of guitars, including this um, electric star guitar, is it? Which one? Or maybe it's not, maybe this is the acoustic. No, this is electric. Just a little bit of fun, and a couple of keys. And then we're on to loops. We've got um, yeah, quite a few loops on this one. Again, because there's a lot of sequence content on here, so loops is definitely a part of that. Got quite a sort of nice modern analog feel to that one. Again, trying to build in that sort of subtle of subtlety of movement. Got some padding going on there and also changes to the velocity and filtering and stuff. So unmute channel three for some analog toms. Ready? And quite a nice sort of um, modular vibe, that one. And interesting sounds going in that one. So 
So again, these drum loops are good for both the atmospheric underscore kind of thing, as well as you know layering in there for some action. <laughs> okay, now we're on to pads. Now I'm a bit of a pad fiend, but I think actually there's probably fewer pads in this sound set than maybe any other Zebra sound set I've ever done. What am I turning into? And again, we've got some grittiness to the pads as well. There's plenty of sort of atmosphere and um, again, that sort of focus on movement. and noisy. And one last little pad to finish off with. And then we can move into the soundscapes, of which there are a few, not too many, I see. Much fewer than usual. Wait, wait, wait. This, I can't remember which one we're we doing then. Let me just play. Oh, well, never mind. We'll just assume it's this one. Noisy. Ominous feedback, essentially. Wandering off in all sorts of directions, that one. Thank you. 
Nice. It's lovely for putting there in the background just to add that tension, really. And then we've got some sound effects, which is, again, something I don't do a lot. Um, there was a few in the last Serum sound set that I did, but um, yeah, it's not often I do them in Zebra, but here we are anyway. So we've got sort of sweeps and impacts and tonal stuff. Lots of echoes on that one. That's a weird sweeping bassness there. And then... Nice little accent. And then we're on to sequences. So, fun stuff to stick underneath, basically. outside now so you might hear some weird noises coming from the windows and the, the roof. Oh, it works well with chords, let's actually play some chords then. <laughs> that has got a life of its own that one. One more sequence. And then we'll finish with this one strange synth sound. whiz through that a bit and um, that's Zebra Refract, the Zebra 2 version. So we'll swap over now to uh, the Zebra HZ version. Bye bye to you. Hello to you. Um, so obviously with Zebra HZ, Dark Zebra, it's just basically optimizing the sounds and remixing them and reworking them with um, the extra features that you get on Zebra HZ. gives it a sort of a darker, more analog feel in general. Nice evolving bass. So if I haven't mentioned it already, which I definitely haven't, there's 150 patches in um, Zebra Refract, uh, which obviously doubles to 300 when you get to the, the Dark Edition. Again, those subtle movements just to give it that um, edge. Gritty, haven't said gritty for all, it's gritty. I'm gonna whiz through these ones a little bit quicker just so that this video isn't too long. Got some nice energy for those action moments, which is quite fun. And 
there's that nice, there is a nice element, particularly with the basis of just sort of instability and a lack of control. So there's, a, there's occasional moments with different time signatures lurking in there somewhere. not going to hear that on your phones if you're watching this on the phone. <laughs> right, and then back into those drums. Let's see what we've got. Big drop. Lots of noisy cinematic impact. Shorter, brighter one, that one. Um, so this is probably the acoustic guitar then. You know. Oh, we've gone weird on the Dark Edition version though. Oh, I like that. That's fun. <laughs> Not realistic at all, but all the better for it. Drum loops. Wow, deep. Don't stand too near the bass bins, my friends. So it's lots of dark fun, this one, basically. Gritty, did I mention it's gritty? It's very gritty. Subtler stuff as well, you know. You got the clicks and the, the clocky stuff. Nice organic vibes to the drums as well, which is fun. Modular Gamelan vibe like that. That one, hasn't it? That's fun. Ah, That's quite 
quite in your face, that one, isn't it? long tail. the wrong side of unstable and atonal that one isn't it oh there's something slightly wrong with this I love it oh the tuning's just that little bit wandery and it makes it kind of tense and sickly. have dreams it's true to the soundscapes. Dirty. Proper wrong in that. Oh, I like the way that builds the intensity on that, it's nice. And then the tail just goes on and on. I've stopped pressing keys moments ago. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to move on. We're gonna have to move on. <laughs> oh, that's utter filth. No run sound effects, by the way. Sequence, really, though, isn't it? I'm talking to sequences. What a neat segue that was. Nice. 
unpredictability to that one. Play chords. It's fun, it's noisy, it's percussive, it's weird. All good things, right? Fun. The big score. I wonder what this is. <laughs> and then one final sequence to finish off. Ooh, multifaceted synth, bass, and drum loop. That's a good place to end. There you have it. That is Zebra Refract. We've been quite good. We've zipped through that in just over half an hour. Um, so, yes, it's 150 patches for Zebra 2 and then another 150 patches for Zebra HZ. You know how it works. If you don't know how it works, it's in the product description. Um, so, yeah, gritty, um, modern cinematic sounds, lots of um, darkness, bassiness, noisiness. Um, but lots of atmosphere and dynamic movement and subtlety as well in there, I like to think. Um, yeah, it's um, I've had fun putting it together because it's one. That, <clears throat> it's quite fun when you have a collection of sounds you think, oh, where can these go? Are they just going to sit there waiting forever? And I just jumped in and thought, no, I'm going to make them work. I'm going to make them earn their living. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then just building on that idea to create something which is hopefully a coherent sound set, I like to think it is. Um, yeah, so it's been quite fun putting this one together. And hopefully you'll like it too. So yes, as I say, it's the last sound set of 2021. Um, going to be having a Christmas sale very soon, a uh, week after this goes out. Uh, and that'll run till the end of the year. Um, so if you miss the Black Friday sale, um, You'll have that opportunity. This obviously won't be in the sale, but if you're a newsletter subscriber, you will be able to get 25% off this. Um, yeah, so it's it's been an absolute bastard of a year, but um, it's nice to finally be getting to the end of it and have something new for you to enjoy and play with and for me to showcase to you. Um, hopefully onwards and upwards next year to better things. Um, it's my 10th anniversary next year. Um, it will be the 10th year of me being the unfinished and making synth noises for you guys. Um, so I'm trying to think of some interesting things to do. I'm putting together a kind of mission statement for, for next year to um, essentially try and cope with all the shit I've been through this year, basically. Sorry for swearing at the end of this. Um, don't let your children watch this video. Why would they? Um, anyway, yes, so next year, I'm going to find some interesting and hopefully unique ways of celebrating having a 10th anniversary. I'm definitely going to be giving some stuff away for free. Um, um, I may even do some merchandise. What do you think? Should I do some t-shirts? Some of the unfinished t-shirts? Would you wear 
an unfinished T-shirt. Um, don't worry, don't worry about doing the puns. I've heard them all. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but I mean, if you've got any ideas, you think, Matt, why don't you do this to celebrate your tenth anniversary, and it not just be give everything away for free? Um, I'm all ears. I'm I'm interested. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything horrendously spectacular because I'm trying to have a calm year next year. The key thing about next year for me is to focus on things that I enjoy and that aren't going to take up um, unnecessary amounts of effort for little reward, <laughs> I guess. Um, yes, going to try and find some kind of equilibrium um, next year because this year has been very tough and not very kind, frankly, and it will be nice to see the back of it, quite frankly. So, yeah. So thanks for everything that you've um, done this year, watching my videos, um, sending me emails, buying my stuff, all that kind of gear. Um, it's been lovely. And um, yeah, it's been helpful having this to focus on again. Um, and I do enjoy your emails. Um, and I do pretty much respond to all of them reasonably quickly because it's nice to have the interaction. You know, it's nice to know about people who are buying your stuff and how they're using it and who they are and sometimes what you do outside of music as well. So, you know, don't ever worry about emailing me. I'm, I'm quite happy to receive emails. That's <laughs> beginning to make myself sound like I'm lonely. That's not the point of making. It's just it's nice to have that connection with your customers, you know, so you're not just sat in your studio having no sort of sense of who they are. And maybe that's something we can build on next year. Um, I don't know how. Anyway, I'll say bye-bye for now, because I've added an extra five minutes to this video, just prattling, I think. So, ta-ta, thanks for watching. Have an excellent Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, have an excellent just end of the year and into the new year. And I'll be back in 2022 with some more fun stuff. Bye-bye. See you soon.